you know, right now you're thinking about it, right? You're thinking about that, that line of credit, thinking about, you know, credit cards, thinking about savings account, thinking about borrowing, thinking about how to make that next expense, right? Be it payroll, be it marketing, be it opening another office, getting another location, buying a firm, always thinking about it in every other resource that you have except growing that top line. And I had a client that did the same thing. Her name was uh, Cindy. And she sent us a really awesome uh, email today. And I want to share this with you because, you know, there's really three ways to get money. There's some creative stuff now like crowdfunding and whatnot. But in a traditional sense, if you're a small business owner in America, you can, you know, use your savings, right? So, oh, I have savings. I'm going to use my savings. You can borrow money. You can borrow debt, line of credit. Or you can get revenue, get money from new customers, get it from clients. And when I met with this woman, it was over the summer, and she was doing, you know, she really was already doing probably 1.2, 1.3 million a year in sales that she was on track to do. But the way she had organized her business was not in a good place. In fact, she couldn't even make payroll. She said, Andrew, I can't join up with you because uh, I can't make payroll. And I said, I said, look, here's the thing. If your business is doing that much in sales and you're pulling from your line of credit to make payroll, there's a problem. And I said, there's not many moments where I sit down and I force people to work with me, but this is one of them. Like, I'm not going to let you leave this call without going forward and working with me because I can tell you right now, the reason that you're not, you're, you're having trouble making payroll is because of a lack of courage. It's yes, there is a little bit, you don't know the tactics of how to, you know, charge people, how to charge separately for tax planning from prep, how to increase the fees on people that have been sucking the juice off this business. But even on the call that I had had with her, I already, you know, had showed her some of the tricks of that and she already knew, oh my gosh, I can do that. And so I said, if you leave this call without going forward with me, and she's like, but Andrew, if I do this, I won't be able to make payroll. And I said, yes, you will. I said, don't think about line of credit for payroll anymore. Don't think about savings for payroll anymore. If you need to make payroll, you need to get it from brand new clients and going back to existing clients and charging them more. And it's a change in mindset, right? Sometimes people come to me like, I don't have the money to do it. Right? I don't have the money to work with you, Andrew. I'm like, yeah, isn't that the exact reason why you're watching this video? Isn't that the exact reason why you would sign up for an application with me, why you would sign up to work with our team? Because if you already had the money and you already knew how to do it, then you probably wouldn't need our help, right? And, you know, I've been there. I remember I used to have $55,000 in student loans. I remember I had my last $1,500 in my checking account. It was uh, three months after my wife and I got married. And I looked at my account and I thought, I used to have money in this, but I paid for the wedding. I paid for the trip out there and I had nothing. And at that point I had no job. So I had 15, my last $1,500 left, $60,000 in debt almost, no job. And in that moment, I realized I started to get crazy and scared. I said, I, I can't keep doing this. And I was so scared of reaching out to clients, reaching out to customers, but I made a commitment at that point. Like I was going to figure out a way to do it. I was going to figure out a way to generate it. And if you're sitting here right now, as we're getting close to the end of the year here, and you're thinking about paying things with credit cards or debt, and you're worried about money, you're spending so much time worrying about every line item on the PL, except for the most important one, the top line. The number of appointments that you have with potential clients, the number of appointments that you have with the existing clients, the kind of pricing, the way that you help them, there is more to gain in this life than there is to lose. And if you keep thinking about debt, you keep thinking about savings, and you're not thinking about generating new deals, new opportunity, you've got to completely change that mentality. And you can see, I, I'll show you this right here. She says, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, just reached out my goal of 2 million, so excited, my life changed forever. Right now we have 30,000 in the bank. I never set a goal before. If you remember, I said something to do so. Last year, we ended the year with 1.6. I had an employee take clients. Uh, the 1.6 million had old employees from his 500, uh, 350 clients. Thank you, thank you, thank you, happy holidays. And so, guys, look. This kind of stuff happens. You have people leave your business. You have people leave your company. And, you know, they'll take from you, right? They'll, they'll, there'll be people coming against you. Family will be against you. Kids will be against you. Team members will be against you. Competitors will be against you. Clients will be against you. There's only one thing that shuts everybody up. And it's generating new deals, new cash sales on the tape. And when you can do that, you can call your own shots, right? You've seen, you know, if any of you guys have worked at some of these accounting firms, I remember I worked at one of these accounting firms back in the day, some of these partners, you know, they wouldn't do the traditional things that everybody else was supposed to do, but they were the rainmakers. They kind of set their own rules because they did their own process. And so if you're looking to change the tables, right? And you're not like, how many appointments do you have this week? I mean, I'm talking right now, I'm, it's Christmas week. I'm here in my office doing it, right? Um, 
How many appointments do you have this month? How many appointments do you have last month? If you're not having appointments, prospects, existing clients, giving them an offer, giving them a price, walking through exactly how you can help them, making them an offer, and you're not spending a commensurate amount of your time on that, one last thing I'll say, and then I'm going to give you guys an opportunity. If I were to take your calendar for the last month, and I were to look at it, and then I were to go to your P&L, right, and take your chart of accounts, and I were to take every line item on your chart of accounts, okay, and I were to apply it to your calendar, say, okay, this hour we worked on software, this hour we worked on cost of sales, this hour we worked on, you know, employees, this hour we worked on revenue, how many hours in a month have you allocated towards revenue? So if you take your P&L, River, apply every chart of account to every single hour there, how many hours you spend on revenue? It's not enough. It's not enough. You need to get it together. If you're doing 100,000 in sales and you want to do a million, you need to spend 90% of your time, or it needs to feel like you're spending 90% of your time on revenue. You need to make it a priority. And then you will have the money to be able to hire people to do the work for you and with you, okay? So if you're interested, if this is uh, ringing true with you, there's an application below this video and I would love to work with you, okay? Now, I will tell you that these applications with my team and I, we were talking like about 50% of these applications that come through, we don't even call, okay? So we typically like to work with people that are just getting started in their business or already have a business. If you're doing 50, 250,000, a million a year in sales, we'd love to work with you. If you're just getting started, you know, you're going to have to sell us on it because typically when somebody's just getting started, you know, we used to work with everybody just getting started. But what we found is people when they're just getting started, like, you know, you have to put in a lot more work. A, there's, there's a lot more things that you have to learn. You have to get all the psychological components, right? If you haven't done your first 50, you haven't done your first 100,000 in sales, it's mostly right here. People, if you're already doing 50, 100,000, 250,000, a million, I know a lot of it's tactics. There's some mindset too, but a lot of it is tactics and we could drill down on the tactics. First 72 hours, we're gonna set up a system to get appointments for you. Start getting appointments coming in. I'm gonna teach you how to sell on a deck presentation, go through and show the value and everything in a visual way with clients, close the deal, new pricing, new packaging, tax planning, CFO, wealth management. Uh, fill out the application below and I will see you guys on the other side.